Single family homes up 14%? Are you kidding me? It can't keep going up, can it? I mean, this is a bubble, right? It's gotta pop. Or does it? One, 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 or one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. I'm turning dreams into reality. Yeah. It's one, or one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. Hottest items to buy in the pandemic include toilet paper, bicycles, hand sanitizer, of course, but on top of that, Video games are through the roof. This bottle represents hair dye because apparently everyone's changing their hair color and webcams for some mysterious reason. But you know what is hotter than all of those combined? Single family real estate, kid you not. Real estate is hot right now. So hot right now. There's articles coming out left and right. It's all about single family real estate and how it's bumping up, right? From the Welland Tribune, record prices and sales transactions, they've nearly doubled. CNBC's talking about sales of newly built homes just from May to June, up 14%. Like single family is where people wanna be right now. Right now, single family and multifamily segment are proving to be amongst the most resilient. And from Newsday, they're talking about the suburbs of Manhattan, how they're posting record revenues and tax collections from real estate. Bottom line is out in the suburbs, single family homes, real estate is on the rise in a really big way. Now you gotta understand, I make a lot of money in real estate by understanding when it's gonna go down, when it's gonna go up, and right now everyone's wondering, this is the question, is this housing bubble going to pop? Can the prices keep going up? And you need to understand that what comes up does come down, but not right now and not with single family homes. Let me tell you why. Let's check out the forecast in real estate. Right now, we've got people moving from the suburbs the last 20 years into the metropolis, right? Into the city. That's been the direction of things. But for the first time in 20 years, we've seen that pattern shift. We've hit a critical desalinization point. Trucks are leaving the city and houses are now multiplying. Basically, more people live out here, less people live here. Right now, with so many people interested in single family homes and prices are up and people are buying them and people want to enjoy a pool in their backyard and they want to enjoy that more quiet living because guess what? That's what the pandemic is doing in the world. This is increasing the traction in the single family game. It's driving the prices up, but for how long? Medical Press released an article with some data from the University of Pennsylvania that basically says they're expecting a full return to normal, whatever normal is, in November 2021. Guess what that means? That's more than a year away. This is a good thing. Single family being hot for the next 14 months means that it's a good time for you and I to get involved and own some of that real estate. Right now, real estate is gonna remain in high demand and look at some of the trends as to why. This comes from Well and Tribune. They say home buyers are putting a lot of money into now premium lots. They want large lots, enclosed backyards, substituted for nearly unsupervised parks and providing a safe enclosed place for playgrounds, vegetable gardens. Basically, people wanna recreate in their backyards. On top of that, there's a huge interest in suburban living and leaving those big cities. And you know what that means for condo sales? They're down big time right now. I think people are starting to figure out that if we're gonna have to start living our lives from home, then we might as well invest in a nicer home, right? Stanford News came out and said that 42% of Americans are now working from home. So guess what they want? They want built-in amenities. Look at the things they're looking at. They're interested in putting in a backyard pool, fire pits, trampolines. Those sales are really high right now. Backyard grills, gardening, Basically, people are trying to create a new combination of work and life and a new way for that to come together. By the way, 42%, that's like half the workforce. And when this crap is over, I'm talking about the masks and all of this garbage going on, guess what? World's not gonna be the same again. People are gonna say, I wanna work from home and I think that's gonna make single family homes even more attractive way longer than just the next 12 to 18 months here. Wellen goes on to make the point that it's not just the price of real estate, it's about being on the right side of the railroad tracks. In other words, location, location, location. People want nice real estate and they're willing to pay for it right now. You know, I've been in the single family game for the last 15 years and I've had many a critic out there basically say, Chris, why don't you graduate to commercial real estate? Why don't you get into like apartments or, or storage units? Why always single family? 
Well, not only has it been one of the highest ROI plays year over year for the last 15 years, including the big 2008 downturn, but beyond that, it's now becoming hyper popular. It's something that's exciting. It's something that people actually want to be in the game for. This sector is going to be expanding. In fact, over the next decade, millennials have become less interested in owning real estate. They prefer renting. So now it's all about getting the single family homes on the right side of the railroad tracks, in the best markets, in the best places. I buy a home just about every single day of the week in one of the hottest markets. By the way, if you don't know how to get your hands on finding really good real estate, the kind that people want, the kind that people pay premium rent for, click the link below and I'll actually give you free access to my house finding system to find a good deal in your backyard. But there's a lot of concern out there in the marketplace right now because of the huge shortage we have on real estate and it's speculated by Crone Worries about the pandemic have led to a record low number of homes for sale. Basically, people are holding onto their homes. On top of that, we started with the shortage of over a million homes in the first place, which bottom line means people want real estate, it's not available, and guess what that has to ultimately do to the price? It has to rise it up. So that might lead you to be concerned right now. Am I getting in at the wrong time? Are the prices gonna keep going up? Am I getting in at the wrong moment? And listen, you do have to be careful. You buy the wrong real estate, chasing real estate at the wrong time and buying too big of a price, sure, with time that can absolutely come and bite you in the butt. You're biting my butt! I wanna tell you something. I keep a track record of my last 4,000 homes that I've done. These are all addresses and all of my properties. And you know, the biggest thing that I've learned is that if you buy these single family homes underneath the median, in the right markets, there's always a way for you to travel up in the right direction. Or maybe you live in a market where real estate is really expensive like New York or LA. If that's the case, this is a good time for you to be thinking about how do I get into other markets or nearby markets or the suburbs where I can still capture real estate at a super reasonable price knowing that it is moving in a positive direction. Turns out people like working from home. And when this is all over, they're not gonna to wanna to go back to their workplaces. They're learning how to build their work life in their home, which has a lot of people wondering, well, is this a bubble? Hey, there's a bubble. Well, commercial property executive says, the mismatch between supply and demand is driving prices higher, but I wouldn't call this a housing bubble. And I have to tell you, I agree 100% with them. In the area that I live here in Utah, home prices have gone up really high. And guess what? Prices now on a median home being at $350,000 or $400,000, I'm not buying that real estate. I'm telling you, I'm always buying below the national median and that's what keeps me safe. So my personal advice to you is, yes, get in on single family real estate and make sure you do it wisely. Don't jump in at really, really high price points because the reality is the median represents a price where the average number of people are going to be able to purchase. If you go above that number, you're now chasing down a level of real estate where you could get inverted on those rents. You could actually lose money after renting the property out. So you gotta do this smart. Inevitably, I'm going to get the question below, Chris, should I invest in brand new homes that are being built right now or should I buy something existing? Well, CNBC came out with this article. They're talking about the newly built homes that have jumped 14% from May to June. Well, guess what? We've got the index score showing the highest level of customer excitement and satisfaction for getting into new homes and builders are benefiting not just from strong buyer demand, but they're also benefiting from charging those higher prices. I would not be buying brand new homes right now. In fact, you should be going into the existing marketplace and you should be cashing in on the homes that are already built. In general, 99 out of 100 times, guess what? I'm getting a better deal on an existing home rather than the builders that are chasing the increasing prices and the shortage and the demand for housing that's out there. These hidden gems are out there. They're not easy to find, but if you have the right software, if you have the right system, literally sitting from your couch, you can find these amazing deals. In fact, if you go to use my software, Chris Crone House Finder, in the link below, I'll actually show you how to find really hot deals right in your backyard. And if you wanna watch a video on literally how the system works and how to find the really good deals, then click this link, watch this video, and it'll actually walk you through how I find really good deals and make lots of money from my home. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you click the link below. I'll show you how to find those hot deals. Make sure you're also a subscriber. I'll see you on the next video. I don't really know what that means, <laughs> but I'm reading the green. <laughs>